Hello and welcome to this ONDR module video. Which tone or cover? This is video 142 in our series of XK8 videos. In this video, we're going to go through as many aftermarket tone or covers that we could find for the Jaguar XK8 XKR X100 convertible. If you're lucky enough to own a Jaguar XK8 convertible, you're going to be used to this scene uh, roof down motoring and a convertible. Uh, top in its stowed position. Um, there is a standard factory uh, uh, fabric tonneau cover. It's a single piece uh, fabric cover. Um, it folds up in the boot and stores up very easily. Um, the tonneau cover normally comes uh, the same colour as the interior to match the interior. Um, but the resulting shape isn't very flattering. It doesn't follow the curves of the body. Um, because the the, um, the uh, roof doesn't fall flat, it's qu quite an awkward shape to cover. Um, so there have been different options available with a bit more style and a bit more shape. And in this video, we're going to try and review all the ones we can find. Um, this video, we're going to break down into four sections. Um, We've got section one, two, and three covering the three different types of uh, hard tonneau cover we could find. The first, the Paramount. Second, um, Mina Gallery. And third, Adamesh. I I've chosen those names. Those are the people I've found sold them primarily. They're probably not the manufacturers per se of the, uh, the hard tops themselves. So uh, correct me if you find uh, other manufacturers. Uh, I'd be very interested in those details. And uh, finally, then a comparison of the different styles of uh, tonneau cover. If you're interested in this video, you're going to be interested in um, our YouTube channel, ONDR module. It covers exclusively Jaguar XK8, XKR, um, X100 videos, how to's and what have you. If you like this video, please, please uh, uh, press the thumbs up. It really does make a difference. OK, so the first style, which we're calling the Paramount for the purpose of this video, um, it's basically a black fabric covered uh, tonneau cover. I don't believe it's any it, it's uh, at the available any longer. It's uh, in the uh, spares market, as it were, second hand market now. The Paramount style one, then it has lumps emphasizing the front seat headdress. So you can see the actual tonneau cover itself is it's got four lumps in it. You've got those side lumps and two enlarged lumps that sort of sculpt along with the front seats. The central lumps are much higher, uh, larger and higher than the outer hood mechanism covers. And they don't do that good a job of disguising the hood mechanisms under there. You can still tell it's, it's, it's in there. Paramount made these... Um, in three pieces, two outer pieces and a central piece to try and make them easy to store. They are quite long and bulky, but I believe they are storable in the uh, in the boot. I did cover um, some Paramount mods, including this uh, cover in video 129. If you want to take a look at that, uh, there's lots of more stuff in there. In that video, we it does mention the hood cover being advertised back in 2004 or 5 by Paramount and you can see clearly there it's the same three piece design albeit in this case it was uh, a carbon fiber version available for 1992 pounds including vat so not cheap by any uh, stretch of the imagination and uh, as i say the Paramount style then it's carbon fiber or fabric covered three piece and it uh, emphasizes the front seat headrest. The second type then, which we're calling uh, Mina Gallery, it was available from Mina Gallery uh, previously, but I don't believe they'd sell it anymore. It's not available on their website. And these were fabric covered again. Um, they're a very, very similar shape to that we've already spoke about, which we're calling the Paramount. They emphasize the front headrest. They've got large lumps there, uh, sculpted along the same line as the front headdress but in this case instead of three piece as you saw with the paramount design there these are only two 
pieces, but they're very long, large pieces. And I can imagine this is very difficult to store, uh, this particular tonneau cover, because these large uh, pieces are, are, are quite an awkward shape to, to get in your boot, I suggest. But if you've had one of these, please let us know. Um, the construction of this, I, I couldn't find any details of what they're constructed of. I assume it's uh, some sort of fiberglass or plastic. I did find a slightly different Mina Gallery uh, version, a smaller, flatter style, again, two-piece. But you can see it's, it's a little bit uh, flatter, more subtle. The outer um, hood mechanism is, is a little bit more smoothed out into shape. And you can see the inner lumps aren't covering the front headrest. They're actually more inboard and they're emphasizing the rear headrest. Albeit in this particular car, the rear seats have been deleted. So, so you can see this because the um, the panels aren't quite as long. Um, on the f uh, the first Paramount ones, the uh, the uh, panels came all the way to the front seats. It's a slightly easier to store uh, version of the tonneau. Uh, third, then Adamesh. Um, fortunately, this one is available at least in twenty twenty one. Um, you can buy this from Adamesh. Um, it's five hundred and fifty pound plus delivery, unpainted. You can, you do you can pay them to paint it to your colour of the car. Uh, it's available at www.adamesh.co.uk along with lots of other Jaguar XK8 XKR uh, add-ons. The Adamesh style is quite different. Um, it's taken on that uh, Mina Gallery sort of uh, rear headrest uh, lumps in the middle but much larger sort of torpedo shaped lumps on the outer uh, hiding the uh, the uh, roof mechanism and you can see there here that it's got quite a nice uh, lump or lump in the middle uh, emphasizing the rear headrest but the outer piece the outer torpedo shape as I say is much larger than the inner ones and it does disguise the hood mechanism quite well. You can't tell there's a hood mechanism under there really. It doesn't have any shape of that uh, at all. Um, as I say, it hides it completely well. It uses a similar bolting mechanism to the torno cover as well. Um, so overall, this is quite, quite a nice style. It is in two pieces and it's made of fiberglass construction. Um, and you pe get it painted to your body colour. Um, I did find a tonneau cover very similar in a, uh, when I was looking at Racing Green, uh, video 133, if you want to take a look at that. Um, in that, it mentions an aluminium tonneau cover for the soft top. Um, it's quite interesting. I'll just read you the advert in here. This conversion solves the stylistically challenged appearance of the Jaguar XK8 and R convertible models when the vinyl soft top cover is pop studded into place with the roof down. The racing green solution comprises aluminium covered which fit over the soft top roof when it is in the down position. The toner cover comprises of two outer torpedo shaped sections which cover the soft tops lateral extremities you know the, 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 the roof mechanism as, it, as we were speaking about and two inboard panels which are positioned behind the rear seats. The inboard panels feature contour teardrop shapes behind the rear seat reminiscent of the power bulges on the tail of the XK180. So I think this style, this aluminium tonneau which is available from Racing Green is very much similar to the Adamesh one that we have now, albeit maybe instead of two pieces it was actually four. But if you have one of these, uh, please get in touch. I'm really interested to learn more about that. When the soft top roof is erected, the aluminium panels are stored in protective soft covers in which the storage area behind the rear seats is um, it, it's stored behind the rear seats. Therefore, there is no loss of boot space. The tonneau cover panels are not electrical operated, but can be installed within four minutes. And the panels are painted the original body color um, specified to the owner's colour. I mean, this is uh, 1950, so 1,950 pounds. This was back in 20, uh, 2002. Um, then section four, then a comparison of the different styles. 
Um, if we look at the style themselves, obviously the Paramount style had front headrest lumps and the Adamesh was the, the side pl uh, pod lumps and torpedo shapes, because quite different uh, styles of uh, Tono, depending on what you like. I'd say the Adamesh ones, or the torpedo side pod uh, version, is very effective of uh, actually hiding the roof mechanism on the other ones which call in the Paramount style you can still see the roof mechanism in there it doesn't hide it very well the colour then um, on the Paramount ones they generally they're fabric covered uh, possibly carbon fibre however the Adamesh ones because they're um, carbon fibre they're all painted body colour um, Unfortunately, that means they are can be easily scratched, um, and they do. They are a little. You've got to be a little bit more careful handling those. Fabric covers tend to be a bit more robust to uh, knocks and what have you. Um, the number of pieces then. So the Paramount one or that that style behind the front seats was available in two or three long pieces, which actually covers the rear seats. But the Adamesh is uh, only two shorter pieces which are easy to store. The construction then, the Paramount ones, obviously it was covered, uh, material covered, one potentially carbon fibre or glass fibre. The Adamesh is painted glass fibre. Not the greatest material, but it's quite flexible for this sort of shapes. Finally, then the rear seats, as we spoke about before, the Paramount design, because the, the 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 panels are quite long, they actually cover the rear seats, and you're unable to use the rear seats when uh, they're in position. Plus, that extra length makes them more difficult to store because they've got they're literally longer. However, the Adamesh one, it it doesn't cover the rear seats; it comes up to the rear headrest, um, which makes it useful. You can use the rear seats, albeit not for passengers. Um, and um, it makes them easier to store because of that lack of length of the panel. So currently you only have one choice except for the second hand market and that is this Adamesh style. Uh, you do have to um, pay attention with this particular style. There's um, several references on the um, forums about uh, this sort of style tonal cover rubbing against the, the bodywork and the storing and handling damage and general faff of taking them on and off so it is a great style of tonneau cover but they do take a little managing and obviously you've got to be a little bit careful when you take them off you haven't scuffed all your paintwork so when your roof is up um, you, your car doesn't look great I'd like to at this point request any information obviously this is the stuff that we found out uh, so over the internet and uh, looking through various references but if you've got some um, uh, information on hard tops, tonneau covers, or rollover hoops, or actually some practical experience of using your own, we'd really like you to get in touch with the channel and send any information you've got to owendr at gmail.com. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more XK videos.